This is not a paid endorsement. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending where you are in your day. This is Earth Radio. And now here's it is a beautiful 55 degrees and sunny in Chicago today. Hey guys, so I wanted to put together just a quick video, something that was going around internally at LinkedIn and is prevalent in a lot of conversations that are happening, not only internally with us and our business leaders and just amongst peers, but also with our customers is veteran hiring. What do we know about veteran hiring? Well, I, I don't know it all, but there are some things I do know. There are over 2.4 million veteran profiles on LinkedIn today. 1.9 million of those are represented just here in the US. Over 200,000 new veterans are transitioning and coming onto the platform every year. And LinkedIn is making sure that we capture them all in their transition program, where they go through different steps to, to transition into civilian life. LinkedIn branding, profile, that's all part of it. So we know that we're capturing that market and that 2.4 million is only gonna continue to grow. Now from a LinkedIn standpoint as well, we offer a veteran program that helps in the effort of transitioning these veterans. We offer a free year of premium membership to help these veterans with the ultimate transition into the workforce. There's a few key steps to setting yourself apart or having a strategy that is veteran hiring specific. And it's very different and uniquely different and should be treated as such than regular hiring. So companies that are being successful and have seen success are specifically internally dedicating, training, and having at least one, if not two, or a team specifically dedicated to veteran recruiting. If you have someone that was a veteran themselves and is on your recruitment team or is interested in joining their recruitment team, even better. Those conversations can mesh a little bit easier when you've got the one-to-one -one on, a, on a more relative scale and you can relate to one another. Because we're so privileged to have so much data, 2.4 million veterans and growing, we have a general understanding for their actions, behaviors, what they're doing on LinkedIn. And it's interesting to note that they're actually more engaged because of this that proves that an informed strategy from a company standpoint when you've got that veteran hiring initiative is to be engaged with them. Have a story, have content, have something specifically veteran driven because if you can do that from the internal walls and share that out in the platform like LinkedIn, and you've got your veterans over here, this is a talent pool that you're interested in hiring, and they're actively engaging, that's where the two can, can cross intersect. A couple rapid fire stats for you as far as veterans compared to the normal members on LinkedIn. And normal members on LinkedIn, just as an average of our 550 million members, Content more than anything is engaged with six times more than any other action on LinkedIn. So that's a baseline that we're looking at. And then this is what veterans are doing in excess of that baseline of six times more content from an engagement standpoint. The veterans tend to share content 52% more. Veterans involve themselves in groups, veteran groups, 49% more. Veterans are 26% more likely to follow companies. Veterans are mobile they contribute to 22% more mobile activity than the average LinkedIn user. They're also coming to the site more, about 18% more than the average member. And veterans are also 4% more likely to research career opportunities. So we've set a ba baseline that veterans are on LinkedIn, we know that they've got some motivation to, to be transitioning early and often with the law of having a, a 12 month transition period. We know that they're joining groups, they're engaging with content, they're sharing content, they're researching opportunities, and they're mobile as well. So what are some thought strategies that you can have other than being mindful of this, implementing a, your own specific recruiter or recruitment team dedicated to veterans? What are some other ways that you might be able to target or have a conversation with these veterans? Well, specific targeting criteria or targeting demographics that you can drill into to find these veterans and get in front of them. Make sure your brand or your voice or your story is heard and seen. Come down to a few different ways. You can search by member schools. You can search by member skills. The top five skills of the highest in-demand veterans on LinkedIn, leadership, management, 
project management, business process improvement, and business. We mentioned that veterans are also 49% more likely or currently in groups than the average LinkedIn member. And some of the groups by which you can target by that we have on LinkedIn where you can find some of these veterans are U.S. Military Veteran Network, U.S. Navy Veterans, Iraq War Veterans, Veteran Job Opportunities, Army Veterans, USAF Veterans, Veterans Hired, Disabled American Veterans, the list continues on and on. These are just a few examples of established active communities called groups that are already on LinkedIn where veterans are engaging and companies are going to find that talent. So that's all good and well and we've got some understanding of the talent pool on LinkedIn and also some ways to get in front of them and some topics to talk about that may be of interest. We know you're transitioning. We know you've got these skill sets. Those align with a few job opportunities that we have. Oh, by the way, I'm a specific veteran recruiter. I'd love to talk to you about how we specifically can see you fitting into our culture as a veteran transitioning, how we can get our story specifically in front of them. But not only getting it in front of them, but can we also track the engagement and measure what kind of impact that we're making and spreading our word amongst these veteran folks. Through Recruiter, you can track through Veteran and Diversity Engaged with Talent Brand Spotlight. You can also look at the Veteran and Diversity demographics of your followers and via Campaign Manager, where you manage your sponsored content that you're specifically putting in front of these veterans, your job opportunities, links to your career page on LinkedIn, links to specific stories, veteran microsites, that can all be drilled down into the demographic insights as well to see how much and how often and how well these veteran talent pools are engaging with you. So what are the best companies doing outside some of the things that we've already mentioned and gone through and the thought process that they've already implemented? They're creating veteran micro, micro websites specifically on their career sites. They're dedicating a specific career page view on LinkedIn to veteran hiring. They're also taking a recruiter or multiple recruiters on their team and making them a veteran recruiter. Again, that's important because if I, for example, am a veteran, I'm seeking you out, looking at the job opportunities that you have, and I see that you're a specific veteran hiring manager or a specific veteran recruiter, that's more appealing to me to have a conversation. So building, curating, and sharing content specifically to veterans on LinkedIn. Once you have some of these veteran hires, whether those are folks that you need to bring on or that are currently already there, I'd imagine you've got plenty of veterans that are within your walls. Create communities internally and leverage those folks as your champions to help the recruiter that's specifically going to be a veteran, to help with employee testimonials and what it's like to transition from, from active duty into a corporate job with company X, Y, and Z. Those are voices that are so so important that need to be leveraged more often. Hopefully this information was helpful and can educate you or at least give you a little bit more to throw into your playbook when it comes to veteran hiring.